Welcome back, everybody. It's been an insane couple of weeks, so I need to get you up to steam before we go into the meat of this video. I ordered a wood plaque from Etsy to mark 10,000 subscribers. I'd go get it, but it doesn't look very good up close. Now, I have not been posting all that much lately, and there's two reasons for that. One, I'm a huge Dallas Mavericks fan, and the games have just, they come on late at, in the evening, and it's just kind of hard for me to be on the computer doing stuff. But two, the leprechaun, or as we started calling him, the leprechaun. Guys, this thing with him has gone in directions that I could never have seen. So he has assembled a goon army to um, come after me literally constantly. Every time I try to do live streams, they get shut down. That's the biggest reason why I haven't been able to upload very many videos because I just don't have enough to show you guys because I, I do live streams for just a little while and then they get shut down. They actually got my channel demonetized for just complete bullshit things that I've that I've never done. Um, but I actually won the appeal on that, which is extremely surprising. So, yay! This whole video is going to be about that psychopath because he's being investigated by the FBI. He's a groomer. He's an actual predator. He's a complete pervert. He's a cult leader. I... Like, I am not making this up. The fact that I haven't really been able to make much content at all in the last couple of weeks, it has been hurting me monetarily on this channel. So I just want to quickly say, if you guys feel like it, if you want to throw a couple bucks toward the channel, obviously my book is for sale. Um, So that that's probably the most valuable thing for you that you could get because you would learn a ton by reading that. But I do have shirts. I don't run the ads really anymore, but I... I I'm not a good promoter. I want everything on this channel to kind of happen organically. And this is a fun thing. But, you know, the march of regression, evolution, you know, get smarter, learn that the earth is a globe. Or as if you stay an idiot, you'll think the earth is flat. Still banging. This is a uh, uh, harkens back to the <laughs> April debates. There's a couple more. I have some digital art that you can buy for like literally as low as one dollar. You could get like a a phone wallpaper, just something cool that you can put on your wall. By the time you see this video, I will probably have had my last day of school for the year. So I'm going to have tons of free time. I'm hoping to make a lot more videos other than just debates, although the debates get tons of views. I do want to do more and better stuff. I'm starting to make facts that aren't true videos. Again, I've made a lot of progress on that book, so I have tons of videos for that that I could produce. And uh, doing more of the reaction videos where we get to talk for a long time. It's usually just me and those, but, you know. And then uh, maybe get some guests up here, too. So I'm excited for that. But anyways, let's get to uh, the leper cunt. This stuff, I, this stuff is just... I can't believe it. If you haven't seen the videos, uh, you need to watch the videos. I'm not really going to go over it very much, but basically he's this... Uh, He's, he's like PC principal. He's an SJW warrior, but he's just a total bully and just absolutely, apparently he has a very long and storied history of harassing people and getting armies of people to go harass people and try to dox them and just doing and saying horrible stuff. And I'm just the most recent victim. So after humiliating him uh, with those videos and stuff, he decided that he was going to... Um, again, assemble his army of chronically online miserable losers that have nothing better to do. And they infiltrated my Discord. Now, my Discord had, like, no security settings to it. I have no idea how to use Discord. Um, it is age-restricted, but apparently there's, like, virtually no safeguard behind that either. So they went into the Discord and they looked for absolutely anything they could find to try to get me in trouble. And he's been doing live streams almost every day for hours and hours and hours uh, with all this documentation alleging uh, all these things that I've done. And every single one of them is bullshit. I'm going to go over how how they are bullshit and then I'm going to tell you the absolute madness that we have found out about this psychopath. So what he started doing was accusing me of sheltering pedophiles in my Discord server and um, talking to minors in sexually explicit ways. So let's go over the minors thing. So what he found out is he went in there and there were two people that were teenagers. 
I had no idea they had, like, there are hundreds, thousands of comments that happen in that server. It's open 24 hours a day. And I didn't see these. If I had, I would have kicked them both out. One appeared to be about a freshman in high school. One appeared to be either a junior or senior in high school. Now, something that happened was I was talking to somebody in my server. We were having a back and forth about Spanky the, the hippo. Uh, that guy right there. This person I'm talking to is 21 years old. Um, and we were just making jokes about Spanky and... Um, I used the eggplant emoji uh, while talking about Spanky. Completely normal, dumb guy humor. Now, that guy and I are talking, and in between our conversation, or yeah, in between our conversation, one of those teenagers sends um, a message, like two messages, and they're just kind of like interjecting. It's as if you're in a public place and you're talking and somebody is eavesdropping or whatever. It's very clear and very obvious that nobody was ever talking to that teenage person. But what Irish has been doing is he took a screenshot of that. <clears throat> and then what he's doing is he's going around, he's repeatedly lied about this. When he gets confronted about it, he changes his tune. But he has repeatedly said that I was using sexually explicit language to talk to or engage with a minor. Complete and utter bullshit. I would actually like to thank the psychopath for making me aware of this because so that that kid that's that that he's using to tell the lie, that person left my server a really long time ago. Like this the screenshot he took happened in in pretty early April and in like uh, like April 20th the last ever message that that person sent in the in the server or 24th maybe I think it was April 24th. The last message they ever said was sent, and then they just disappeared. Um, I don't think I banned them or kicked them out. The audit log doesn't show that, although from what I have seen, the audit log doesn't show everything. So I don't know what happened with that. But anyways, after being aware of this, I my channel, everything was already age-restricted, but now I have a thing where people have to like state their... Um, their name or nickname and age and like give a short message for why they're joining the server and I have to verify you uh, the only thing you can do when you join like you can join but you can't see any channel except the introduce yourself thing and the rules so that is the best we can do um, and yeah we're dealing with it okay so I completely ignored the psychopath and I think he like wanted attention or something like that. I mean, he does these live streams where he would say things like, we got to get Peterson to lose followers. I guarantee he's lost followers ever since he made that Man V Bear video. I've gained like 30,000 or something like that. So fucking cry harder, dumbass bitch. All this other insane stuff. Um, none of that was, was working. So I don't know if that just made him even more motivated or something to go after me, but then they really started doing it. So people that were in my server and that I that watch a lot of my content on TikTok or whatever, um, he would message them, they would message him, a bunch of stuff, basically calling out all of his stupid lies. I mostly ignored him, but then I messaged him to basically try to be like, look, I know that even you know you have nothing here, um, and that wasn't as productive as I thought it would be. It ended with him giving me this list of demands. Absolute psychopathy. One, take down your videos of me. All of them. And agreed to not post them again. Uh, yeah, right. So I, I respond. I'll tell you about my response to all this later. Um, you, Well, no, actually, I'll do it in real time here. So um, I said I'm never going to do that because um, you've been on an active campaign to try to get me canceled or deplatformed or at least uh, not recommended and stuff like that. Um, and all the horrible lies that he said and just slanderous stuff. In the second video I posted of him, you know, you can, uh, you can check out a few of those for yourself. And uh, some of the stuff he said to some of my friends was like deeply disturbing. So like, go fuck yourself that you think you could possibly have any moral high ground. Um, and I told him, if you're going to dish it, you need to take it. Um, you will get my account. You got permabanned restored or compensate me for the money that was in there. $150. I have no clue what he's talking about. He has like 20 different accounts 
which is uh, from what people have been telling me is part of the groomer tactic. But I blocked every single one of them after the second conversation I had with him. So um, people would notify me like via Discord when they were doing live streams. And I would say, yeah, just go mass report it. So does that mean I got him perma banned? Well, I mean, not really, because if you weren't being such an obsessive psychopath and telling a bunch of gross lies, then uh, nothing would have happened. That's basically what I told him on that part. You will message folk in your Discord and explain we have settled things. Um, I would really love to pretend that you don't exist, but you kind of force my hand here. Uh, you will agree to put a put in place a proper age verification process in your server. So there already was one uh, built in with Discord, but I guess it wasn't very good. Um, I set up the verification process that I was telling you about earlier before he ever sent me this message. So yeah, go fuck yourself. Number five, you will agree that anyone who does or endorses or says anything pedophilic in nature in your server, other than making excuses very specific to, I said Pacific, specific to Muhammad's marriage to Aisha will result in a hard perma band. So this is the other accusation that's been floating around. Um, I will explain it after we're done here. Um, you'll agree to a 2v2 debate on man versus bear with this Kenzie person. I got to tell you about this Kenzie chick in a little bit here too. Um, and uh, I told him there's 0% chance I'm doing that because he can't control himself emotionally. And then he said, uh, I can agree to make a statement. So yeah, no, I don't need you to speak on my behalf. So after I told him to go fuck himself in so many different ways with all of those requests, he said to me, uh, good luck. And then what he did was he started this Discord war where he got his goonies to go into other people's discords. I have no idea if any of you like are really on TikTok, but Parker get a job and Dean Smiley Face are two really big like TikTok debaters. Uh, they have huge audiences and they have pretty massive discords too. So they infiltrated, I know for certain Dean's Discord, and uh, I, I was told Parker's, but I never really heard anything about that. But they went in there and they have just been, they haven't been sharing the screenshots because you have to like get to a high level in their server to do that. But they've just been basically sitting there going, Peterson's a pedophile, blah, 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 blah. Just telling as many people they as they can those types of, of things. So that apparently was um, the strategy after that. And there have been all these vague threats about they're going to contact the Department of Education to get my license revoked. They're going to contact my school. They have no idea where I live or where I work um, and uh, just all these other stupid things. And uh, I don't know. It, they're trying to bait me into like talking to him and debating him or whatever. And his ego is so severely bruised that this is like a desperate attempt for him to try to like validate himself or something like that. Okay. So what the fuck is going on with the, uh, the pedophile thing? So this is the other thing they keep doing. They, they keep claiming that I was knowingly sheltering, uh, pedophiles in my server. Um, and, I guess that I just like wasn't doing anything about it and that I endorsed sort of what they were saying. Uh, no, in my server, we get these rage bait trolls all the time. The most common thing is they either pretend to be a flat earther or they pretend to be uh, a Muslim. Now, some of them probably actually are Muslims. Here's an example of this. I'm pretty sure both of these guys were pretending to be flat earthers. So, like I said, this has happened dozens of times. It's always the same thing. They come in, they say as many stupid things as they possibly can. We we dogpile them, make fun of them. I usually mute them or put them in timeout because then they can't say anything. I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to mess with trolls, but what I've learned from this experience is you can't possibly win with trolls, so just don't tolerate them. But after you do that, what they do is they DM you right to to keep trying to get you to like waste time and rage bait and all this stupid stuff so what does this have to do with pedophiles well with the the muslim thing whether or not it's real what would happen is they would come in there if they'd say something about being muslim 
I pretty much never did this, but people in the server, they always jump straight to the Muhammad's marriage to Aisha thing. So if you somehow don't know about this, apparently the Prophet Muhammad married a nine-year-old girl. And it's just this thing that people always bring up with Muslims to say, like, would you condemn it? And then they never, ever, ever do. There's some pretty infamous moments with this between, like, inspiring philosophy and Daniel something. I have absolutely no idea how to say the second part of his name. Um, and Matt Dillahunty and that same guy on Modern Day Debate. Inevitably, when they would come in there and talk about that, um, they would just get dogpiled by people um, asking them to condemn that, or they would bring up, like, people would bring up, like, 10 different hypotheticals, like, if if God told Muhammad to marry a three-year-old, would it be okay? And they would, like, pretty much always say yes and stuff like that. Just, like, gross stuff, but, I mean, it's tracks with their religious beliefs. I don't think these people are actual pedophiles. It's 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 a weird kind of like gray area where it's like, well, and I talked about this to one of my friends in the Discord in our in our DMs. I made him a mod cuz I said, "Look, I, we either are we just going to be a no Muslims allowed server? Like I don't really believe in that kind of thing." Um, so when people come in and they like start talking about all this stupid Aisha stuff, just if I'm not there, just mute them for 24 hours or for a week or whatever. And I will go in then and take a look and see like if they need to be banned. So the other layer to this is I created roles in my server and they were jokes just used to harass these trolls and dogpile on I'm going to say dogpile so many times but I don't know what else to say. So those roles consisted of th the names of them were like um village idiot, um pedophile was one of them, dogfucker was one of them. I don't really <laughs> I don't really remember how that became a role, but there you go. Um piece of shit was one of them. Uh I can't remember. So when people would come in, the flat earthers, they would get like the village idiot label and maybe a couple others. And these people apolog or, uh, doing apologetics for the uh, the age marriage thing would get that pedophile role. Now, what uh, what Irish and his goon squad have been doing is they've been taking screenshots of conversations um, between people and those guys with the uh, pedophile tag. And what they've been saying is that I'm knowingly harboring the pedophiles in there and just keeping them in there. And because there were a couple of teenagers in there, I was like endangering people. This is incredibly dumb because, uh, again, I don't think any of them were actual pedophiles. They were talking about like in the context of religion. There was this one guy that went by Batman that just said a whole bunch of fucked up shit, but within 10 minutes of him saying the first thing, he got banned from the server. I'll, I'll show you that here in a little bit. So, I mean, they just have absolutely no case there. Now, devoid of any context, those screenshots do look really bad, but whatever. So here's an example of this. This guy that went by Michael... Um, I'm 100% certain that's not really them in that picture there, but they came in and started calling, there's this guy who is Hindu in our server, and he started calling him like a cow worshiper and all this stupid stuff, and I'm pretty sure they said that they were Muslim, and they were talking about the um, marriage thing too, so I muted him after he said a bunch of stuff, and then here's like DMs he sent to me to just try to piss me off or, or something like that. Here you can see with this Juno person, uh, he was DMing them too, saying evolution is racist and go worship cows. And so, yeah, I blocked him. And then later I, I permit, well, I don't know if I, I don't think I banned this person. I think I kicked them out of the server. Here's another example. And this is one where they, um, this is where they really tried to uh, get me with this. And devoid of any context, again, this is something that can kind of look bad. So there's some stuff above this that I probably should have included, but I, I'm not going through it. But this person whose username is Go Away America, well, let me back up. This swagger person was defending the marriage again. And then they go on to say a bunch of like stupid fucked up shit like, in the historical context and whatever. So this go away America person was saying to me, like, 
why are we tolerating them being in here? Why, um, why not uh, ban them or whatever? And I said, well, because I actually believe in free speech. Now, if somebody's like literally saying that they engage in that kind of activity, that's not the kind of free speech that I would tolerate. And I, I would ban anybody that that said anything like that. But in this religious context, which even the leper cunt um, agreed, that's a different story. So like what I say, here, allowing people to say things I disagree with isn't the same thing as being indifferent to them. It's not illegal for me to block anybody because I'm not the government. Um, it's also not illegal to say things that so far have been said in this server. So it's, it's really kind of hypocritical and ironic because people like the Irish guy or whatever would he platforms or, or he would platform people that have these kinds of beliefs and let them talk only to um, expose how bad of a person they are. Right. Modern day debates does these types of things. Was that was that marriage with Aisha ethical? I've done this kind of thing countless times on on uh, TikTok where I talk to Christians about like um, numbers 31, I believe it is, where it says like, kill everybody except keep the virgin girls for yourself. I'm happy to talk about that with people to expose um, the the dangerous and bad ideas. And I've never gotten any pushback on that until somebody tried to invent a, a narrative to get me in trouble. So yeah, this go away, I, th this is really pixelated, but yeah, I, I muted Swagger. And then here again, here's the rage bait. He's <laughs> like just saying all these, he actually sounds a lot like Irish. It's really funny. If you lie about me, I will report you and all this stupid stuff. And he's saying like, I'm not a pedophile. I just support the uh, marriage to Aisha. His, his timeout ended and then he came in and said like, admittedly, this is extremely creepy and gross. Um, how about you let people love what they want and stop calling pedophile? Um, and I did the, I did that because I was like, yeah, try harder, sweetheart. Your rage bait isn't gonna work. Like I was just trying to like get his goat or whatever. And then you can see down here, um, I muted the person. Now, um, I never banned Swagger. You can see this was on April twentieth. That was the last time Swagger ever said anything. Um, and I thought they were just gone, or I, I forgot they even existed. And then apparently on May 26th, which was kind of when a lot of this stuff, like a lot of Irish's um, allegations kind of blew up, somebody mentioned Swagger in the Discord server, so they got a notification, and then they said something like, what? They like, and, I, and then when I saw that, I was like, that motherfucker is still in here? So then I banned him. Um, I deleted the message when he said that. And that was stupid. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Um, Cause Irish has gone through and been like, see, he deleted the message to try to make it sound like he was blah, 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 blah. I was like really flustered. And so I, I just did that admittedly, I guess I shouldn't have, but whatever. It, it still doesn't incriminate me because I haven't done anything wrong or unethical. Here's a, here's a pretty gross example of this, uh, this Batman person in here. Uh, th this, he, whoever they were, they were obviously um, a troll um, saying, so like on the one hand they say pedophiles will suffer and burn in hell forever. Um, but if Allah permits it, then it's okay. At some point, um, uh, Nightmares here, at, at some point says to the person, I don't have the screenshot of it, but he says something like, um, type one, if you have had relations with a minor and type two, if you haven't, and they typed like one, a whole bunch of times or something like that. Um, and I wasn't there for any of that, but then I became aware of it. And then, um, I, I banned them that Bruce Wayne, that was like their username or whatever. And their screen name was Batman or whatever. So they've been using that one to various screenshots of that to be like, he was doing blah, 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 blah. No, I wasn't part of this conversation and I banned them. Like I can't like, like on TikTok, I went and looked at my analytics on TikTok last month. I had 8.3 million video views and 66,000 comments. 
who the hell knows what is happening in those comments? Uh, it's not my responsibility to to track that. That's just like literally impossible, and it's just not my job or whatever. Now, Discord, I I, I do view that I'm kind of basically responsible for it, but again, I think everything within reason has been done. Okay, so now on to what we have discovered about Irish. This There will probably be a, another video about him in the future when we uh, learn some more things and if uh, uh, if some uh, there are some investigations. And when we find things out about that, I will be letting you know. It's very strange. He really kind of seems to be a cult leader. So what people who have had um, run-ins with him tell me is he does all this SJW stuff to try to align with people that have gone through like pretty severe trauma. And then he says, come to me and come to my discord. It's a safe space and things like that. And then he just gathers them up as his army for him to go out and do like horrendous things. You probably forgot, but a while ago I mentioned this person uh, called Kenzie on TikTok. She's called like it's Kenzie bitch or something like that. And she's a, she's a misandrist, a feminazi or whatever. She wanted to talk to me about the Man v. Bear thing, and I actually thought about doing it for a little while, but I, I just checked out a really small amount of her content. To get to give you an idea of like how radicalized she is, she's one of these people that says, she has this video that states, um, women need to stop forming relationships with men. We don't need men. We just need a small amount of their genetic material. And I heard that. I was like, that is just, that's insane. That almost sounds genocidal. And, um, <laughs> but like, whatever. So, um, a very much a, a patriarchy, bad, toxic masculinity really is a thing. I would pick the bear. Men are, are terrible people. Um, now I'm going to show you some videos in a little bit of Irish's behavior. And if anybody embodies, because, like, the man v. bear thing, what they talk about is, well, a bear won't stalk me. Um, a bear won't do all these, like, whatever. This is exactly, like, exactly the kinds of things that Irish does. He's exactly the kind of person that people like that are talking about, yet they align their, themselves with them. I actually sent her a message where I said, um, are you aware that Irish has... Um, done some things that I'm going to tell you about in a little bit here. And she said, she basically gave me the whole, like, I don't need you to protect me kind of thing. And I just, I cannot believe that somebody radicalized and extreme like her is just, she's incapable of separating herself from him. And he's exactly what she's against. It's like the evangelicals and Donald Trump. I, I don't know how to explain it. And this, this army of people that he has groomed onto his side, all they do is support him. And it's just, it's insane. Okay, so here are some examples of his behavior. This is stuff that other people have sent me. So in his Discord server, this is just basically him going over how he plans to... Somebody who I, I think I know who this is. He says Cry Corner, but then over here he says RC. I think it's this guy who goes by the right corner. I've actually debated him before. One of my three most popular videos on YouTube is titled, This Guy Knows Nothing About Evolution. And the thumbnail is just me going like that. I'm almost certain that that's him. Now he has some like right-wing ideas and he's like the kind of person that would, you know, rant forever about uh, uh, trans women in sports and things like that. So I think that's what's going on here. I think he's trying to do the PC cancel culture bully thing to, to that person. That's just my guess. But... If you can read this, he's talking about, I need home addresses and employers. And I don't know if it's this one, but on another one, um, is this one where he says, no, no, that's in a video. You'll see in a video later, he talks about like, I want to know children's names, where they go to school, spouse's names, employee or employer. And just like insane stuff talking about sending glitter bombs and packages with cockroaches and snakes to him. And all this other kind of just like deranged psychopic, psych, psycho psychopathic, <laughs> um, obsessive behavior. Here he is down here 
um, talking to, yeah, these girls are way too young. He's doing a video chat with them, and he's talking about them in his Discord server. And then also, um, this is apparently is how his Discord server works. He has the right to wax his carrot furiously to images of anybody that is in his Discord server. Like, who is this guy to accuse me of anything? This is particularly diabolical. So you probably can't really see anything in here. And that's kind of on purpose. I made this really small. So what happened was Irish got this girl to send him a naked photo. That's what this blue square is. Now, under the blue square, it's also totally censored. I do not have a naked picture of somebody. But she sent it to him, and then he sent it to somebody else. So it says... Um, you want a close-up picture? And then the person says, uh, not of her butthole, I'll vomit. And then he says, of the crystal? I have no idea what the hell that means. And then he sends the picture. Now, this is her sending him a message because um, word got out that he did this. And he, like, said, oh, you're accusing me of blah, blah, blah. And she's like, these aren't accusations, you. She calls him delusional fuckwad. That's one way of putting it. Um... Now, I told my... Actually, I have this posted in my server for all of his little uh, goons that are in there trying to infiltrate. I want them to know uh, who this psychopath that they've aligned themselves with is. And then um, Irish DM'd somebody that's in my server and he said that, uh, you understand that blank is not the... So I got this picture from somebody else. Irish is aware of, of all of this. And... Uh, should have said this before, but for the record, the woman he did this to has given complete permission. That's actually what's being talked about right here um, for this to be shared. She actually doesn't care if you share her um, image or name, but I blocked it out just because. Um, so here's Irish saying that so-and-so isn't the woman in the picture and never contacted the woman. Well, except here's a screenshot of those two women DMing each other saying that uh, I'm going to expose all this stuff that he did and her saying it's fine. So you're a lying sack of shit, Irish. And then I absolutely love this. He, I guess I don't have a picture of it, but um, Irish is also saying that these images or whatever are like faked. It, it, they're, they're either taken out of context or somehow not fake, which is completely laughable. But at the same time, he says, oh, and you just shared those photos. And so did Peterson. So now I'm going to screenshot that as evidence. It's like, motherfucker, you're saying that you didn't do anything. Um, but us sharing what you didn't do makes us guilty of doing what we're accusing you of doing. So you are guilty. I mean, it's just like, uh, you know, the seven stages of grief. This right here is uh, anger, denial, and bargaining. I think those are the first three, denial, anger, and bargaining, and something like that. Um, he's all three of them at the same time right there, so that's just absolutely precious. Um, I'm going to end this with a couple of video clips of him just being a total deranged psychopath. So um, here's some toxic masculinity from Irish. My name is Irish in NYC in Discord. Irish and NYC, lowercase, anything you Hi. have on Christy, any information you have, phone number, address, children's names, parents' names, partner's name, business, anything you have, please <laughs> notify me and let me know. <laughs> Photos of anyone related to her, Facebook names, schools, anything you have, please send it my way, please. Irish and NYC, all lowercase. Because you I know what? It's fucking on at this point, Christy. You want to see me a tree turkey tree? <laughs> You'll fucking see me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Irish. Let's go. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, definitely. Okay, well, let me be super clear. To anyone who is in Flurple server, Clarify go something. fucking kill yourself. Go take a <laughs> shotgun. Open your fucking no! mouth and slap no, your no, head off. No, oh my god. god. What we the ain't going fuck that people far. Are doing? Stop. Yo, stop. Yo, stop. Yo, stop. Yo, stop. Yo, stop. and that's the one. Not the reality. No, I'll drop fucking everyone right now because I'm fed up of people tone policing how people react to abusive people. 
If Chainsaw was reacting to abusive people, which is exactly what he was doing. I didn't say that, by the way. For policing, I'll fucking say it with my full chest. Flurple has a server of racist fucking scumbags that you all are fucking enabling. And if you're going to fucking cry when someone says, go fucking put a shotgun up your fucking ass, then you should get your priorities straight because you should be more offended by someone having a fucking picture of someone curb stomping a black man. You should maybe give two fucks about that, my guy. And if you don't give two fucks about that, I don't give a fuck about your brain getting blown out. Sorry, not fucking sorry. Nobody oh on God. this panel endorses what I said, minus me, which I fucking double down on. The, the, the reason why I came out here, if, if I could, guys, guys, I, if I, I haven't had a chance to, oh yeah, go ahead, Russell. Um, no one was talking to men to on my panel if he felt I have a pretty strong feeling this is not the end of it. Um, I've been talking to another person who get, who has gotten me a lot of this information, and he um, harassed her for a really long time. Uh, I'm not going to get into like the details of it. I'm still learning some stuff. But um, her and a few other people, they've actually contacted the... Um, like cyber security task force or whatever for the FBI, like cyber crimes division of the FBI, the actual FBI, because they now know um, who he is and uh, like, like his name and stuff because he uh, very stupidly on his discord server shared some information about this. Um, this is so insane. There's this app called like, um, what's it called? FetLink or so, something like that. And it stands for like fetish link. I, I, I can't remember exactly, but it's like an app for people with fetishes, like a community for them to like get together. Completely gross and effed up. But he talked about that on his Discord server. Apparently his username from that app is exactly the same, Irish in NYC. And so there are photos that he posted on there of him like stuffing a prosthetic in his underpants to give him a big bulge or whatever. So yeah, we, we know exactly who he is. So, um, we're going to await the results of that and see what else we find out when we know more. I will let you know that could take a very long time or it could take not too long. So stay tuned.